All right, all right, all right. What's up? Day 50. We made it. We're halfway to 100. This is amazing. What a, what a day. Celebrate. Celebrate today. It's been a wild couple of days. We've been really busy. We've been really busy at home. My hair is like a wreck. I typically take a shower and then I just kind of pull it over. I should probably style it once in a while. Or I'm just wearing a hat. I'm typically wearing a hat. Crazy couple of days. Saturday, I actually did my Murph with my boys. The Murph is a one mile run, a 100, or sorry, one mile run, 100 push ups, two mile run, 100 pull ups, 200 push ups, 300 squats, mile run, all while wearing a 20 pound vest, which is what Lieutenant Murphy, uh, I believe he was Army, would do. It's popularized. He, he died in service. So on Memorial Day, we remember those who gave their lives and Lieutenant Murphy had this workout. And so this is one way that we can honor the memory of those who have fallen um, while doing something hard for our freedom. So that's pretty dang cool. And the boys did it with me this year and they were wrecked. They were pretty sore the next day, which is awesome. I was pretty happy about that because they're always outside playing, but now they did something really hard. The push-ups, pull-ups, squats, those were really tough. So I'm glad they got to feel that burn and kind of see what that was like. So that was really cool to share that with them as well. And then on Sunday, let's see. On Sunday, we chilled. On Monday, the boys and I went on a bike ride. And then there was a little party we we hung out at. And then we came back. And Monday night, I did the Murph stream, the raid stream, which was cool. The raid train, rather. There was 10 of us all day doing Murphs. Raising money for Fisher House, which is an amazing organization who raises money for military families and, uh, yeah, military families and caregivers who help those who are traveling for health care. So they have to travel for treatment. And Fisher House has these houses that are communal dwellings that can provide uh, basically housing for those who are with their family members. So that's really awesome what they do. You know, that's a big cost that military families shouldn't have to pay so that they can be with their loved ones while they're getting treatment. So Fisher House, we raised $9,500, $9,500, which is awesome for like our little corner of the internet. And Rocket, he raised $4,400 himself, which is super cool. So telling everyone to come out and show up to that which is great. My goal was 500 and I got 603. So that was awesome. Thank thank you everyone for your generosity. I'm still going to maybe try to fundraise a little more, especially since we're like 500 away. Be like, can we push to 10,000 before we close it? Like that'd be pretty legit, right? $10,000, 500 more. Between 10 people, we just need to get 50 bucks a piece, right? So there you go. I think we can do it. So that was great. Got a workout in yesterday, got some relaxation, and then back to kind of normal schedule today, which is nice. I was telling my wife, I was like, it's nice to have a couple little kind of off, you know, off schedule days, but then it's really nice to get back to the schedule, like to be able to do the normal things, eat in the normal ways at the normal times, do the normal things, you know, wake up, go to sleep, all that, like... Just, I understand why kids can go crazy when they don't have structure. Because adults go crazy when they don't have structure. But yeah, back at it. Good week. Good open week. A lot of business development to do. A lot of follow-ups and things like that. So, it's going to be a good week. We're going to make it a good week. And it's going to be hard. There's going to be hard things. There's going to be frustrating things. There's going to be disappointing things. There's going to be victories. It's going to be all across the board, but it's how you think about it and how you frame your perspective, getting through and doing my best. Like that is, that is a win. And ideally we can close some deals too. And you know, the business can grow or whatever it is. So that's, that's that positive mind mindset, that, that cognitive behavioral therapy, which is so critical. And there's lots of, lots of ways to look at it and think about it, but cognitive behavioral therapy is well, it's, I guess it's the treatment of kind of incorrect mindset. So there's a lot of like, here's the negative side. Now here's the positive way of thinking through that. And it really just helps you have a positive mindset 
And that's what's going to help you overcome a lot of major challenges. I was talking to actually one of our aldermen yesterday. He's a real nice dude. And just happened to be walking by his house. And he's like, hey, so good to see you guys, blah, whatever. He's a real nice guy. And he's talking about a nephew who's bipolar. And he's like, man, I just wish I could do more. And we're thinking about like, well, maybe you can go serve with him. Like, go help him uh, once every, once in a while because they live somewhere else. Once in a while, show up, go serve for a day or two, get him close, you know, close to Christ, close to faith. Because I'm like, if you're in the sun, you're going to get a suntan, whether you want it or not. So, you know, just get him in those good situations. And I'm not, you know, I have no delusions that that would like heal him by itself. But it could certainly go a long way in helping him with the challenges that he faces. You know, going outside of ourselves. Okay, car. This car wants to race. Let's go. You can get stuck behind these other, other cars. And I have to go around this truck. I got to fly around this truck. Let's go. Way too fast. These trucks are like dominating the right lane so no one can get over. Oh, right, 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 right. right. So workout was good today. Lower body today. uh, Upper body yesterday. I'm pushing harder. I'm really trying to dial in that RPE 9, RPE 10. And I don't know if I'm pushing harder, like with testosterone, so... On Wednesday, this will be the second full week of testosterone. I don't know. Maybe. Probably. But I'm definitely more energetic. And I've got uh, more mental acuity. I feel like that's definitely happening with the testosterone. So that feels good. And then on Sunday, just kind of a little slower. Like I had some moments. I was like, oh, what was that thing? Like, I don't remember. I can't think. Maybe it's the placebo effect. We'll see. We'll have to figure it out. We'll get some blood work in like six months, like five and a half months, and we'll see if any of this treatment is working. We'll see how it's working, what we need to change. I'm glad I'm doing this and figuring out how to get my body in order, you know, to, to feel, to have low energy, to have low mental acuity and terrible focus and low libido and, you know, just a bunch of things sucks and you try to muscle through it. And then I did the blood work and it's like, oh, well, your neurotransmitters, and this was uh, some other work, some labs, your neurotransmitters are low and that can lead to this and your testosterone is abysmally low. So we can do some things to get those up. So I'm taking some different supplements, like some DL phenylalanine, and then I'm actually on testosterone now. So some TRT, testosterone replacement therapy, try to get that back up to a healthy level. And ideally, we can, you know, get it up to a healthy level and my body stays there. So we shall see. My wife's like, well, you have all the symptoms of testosterone. It's hard to believe you're low. I was like, hey, thanks for saying that I'm, I have anger issues. That, that's kind. That makes me feel loved. It's like you can make fun of somebody for something that's silly, but something that they struggle with, maybe not. Like, maybe that's a... Until they have a good handle on it, which I don't. Like, maybe that's a thing you don't make fun of. As a suggestion. All right. Dude, I'm like inordinately hungry. I don't know why. I think I underate yesterday. I overate on Sunday. Underate yesterday. So, gotta get, gotta get some calories back in me. So, all right. We're at work. We did it. This is day 50. Thanks for making it this far. We're jumping in in the middle if you have. That's cool, too. I'm down with it. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, do the thing. We're on TikTok. We're trying to get to 1,000 followers so we can stream our Twitch workouts in the morning onto TikTok. So please do take a look at that. And if you feel so inclined and you're vibing, hit that follow. We do giveaways on Twitch. Twitch is fun. It's kind of my primary platform. And then I try to also get stuff going on other platforms. So, yeah, yeah. All right, we did it. Do good, be great. See you next time. Signing out. Bye.